Everyone's been like so nice complimenting my work. It's me just standing with my painting, greeting people, introducing myself. I'm also going to bring some other pieces. Everyone's here. Everyone's okay. So that's basically of that painting that I did. <laughs> Amazing. I forgot my camera on my dresser. I like the placement of this one. I like the placement of that one. Oh, here it is. Yes, are you the yes I am. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to my channel. So in the last couple videos that I posted, I was preparing for a solo exhibition at a museum where my art was going to be displayed for a week. It was really cool, it was really fun. At this point in time, it's been about two weeks since I did that exhibition. But in this video is basically part three of this whole exhibition thing. The first video, I was kind of just like talking, what was I doing in the first video? I was kind of just preparing my paintings in my little studio, signing all of my paintings, painting the edges of my paintings, and making sure they looked right for the solo exhibition. In the second video, I was literally transporting my paintings from my little studio shed to the exhibition space, setting it all up, kind of exploring the museum and the space. It is a museum of arts and gardens. It was like really beautiful, it was really nice. And in this last video here today, I am participating in the actual event, which is basically me just standing with my paintings, greeting people, introducing myself, and talking to people about some of my work. Definitely really different than social media. I know I really tried really hard to build a social media community, probably for the last couple of years. I have some mutuals and you know, people that I'm familiar with and that are familiar with me as far as on social media communicating with people in person face to face about art that we're literally looking at is like so different and it's so it was great i don't know it was actually really really fun but anyway i'm done talking i want to get into the video um and basically here's just my day preparing for that event hope you enjoy and if you like my videos i would love if you subscribed please okay let's get into the video hi i'm driving Clearly. Today is August 3rd, and today is also the day that I am going to be going down to my solo exhibit to stand next to my art and greet people. So there's a couple things that I need to do to prepare. I'm also going to bring some other pieces, prints, mini prints, stickers, tote bags. So anyway, Hobby Lobby is where I am. I actually just arrived. Why are there so many people at Hobby Lobby right now? It is a Saturday morning. I should have came here days ago. Are there any spots for me? Did anyone save me a spot? I'm not parking right here because I just don't want to be next to other cars. So I came to Hobby Lobby the morning of the show to get some stuff that I can use to help me with my display for my table. I knew I wanted to set up my prints that I have, my mini prints, my stickers, in kind of a cute way. I didn't want to just like throw them on the table. So I picked up some baskets, some mini photo easels, but that's mostly what I came for. It is so hot outside, it doesn't make any sense. Everyone was at Hobby Lobby today. Everyone. Let me show you what I got. I got a whole bunch of these because I thought that they would be great for my little mini prints or eight, no, four by six. And they could sit right on these, be propped up, look all cute. Um, So I got th that for those. Like I got like seven of these literally. Um, They're only $1.49 each, which is absolutely incredible. I got some glass jars for absolutely no reason. They were half off. I can't even show them because they're wrapped up so tightly, but at least I can. What am I talking about? I'm just being lazy these these are great for turpentine and linseed oil when painting and i need new ones because the ones that i have right now are disgusting and then i got this this thing i switched it out the one that i was showing you in the store i was originally going to get but i went for this one instead all i know is i thought i was going to spend 40 dollars. i ended up spending 22.90 so i was happy so it's a little later. I have to go. It's literally 2.08 right now and I have to be there by, I should be there because it starts at three and I should be there by like 2.45, 2.30 set up, you know, and it is 30 minutes away. So I need to get all of my stuff in the car. I have this bag. It's full of like all of my prints. So these are a couple of the paintings. This one here and then that one, it's upside down. Don't mind that. I want to bring those to my car so I can display those. Okay, so that's basically it till I get there. And then I'm going to set my camera up, I guess, and assemble my table. They said that they were going to give me like a beige or a black tablecloth, but I told them like, please do black. I don't know. Something about beige doesn't seem right. So my point is, I have my own personal white cloth that I just found in my trunk. Oh, we gotta go. I think I'm good. I think I have everything. We are actually literally rushing. Like I, this is actually insane. It's crazy. I literally went all, I got like to the highway, which is about maybe like, I'll say seven minutes away from me. I was already running late. Now I'm running ultra late. 
okay? I was on time. I forgot my camera on my dresser. I get seven minutes away, I'm on the phone with my mom, and I'm like, mom, I forgot my camera. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, do you want me to bring it for you when I get there? And she's gonna be like there like halfway through the event. So I'm like, no, I wanted to get my camera, set it up and get started. So I turn around, I get all the way home, could not find it, could not figure out where it was. So I finally find it sitting on my dresser, tucked behind another camera. And I'm like, bro, why was this here? They're probably gonna call me and be like, are you coming? Uh, yes, help me. We made it to the museum. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Everyone's here. Everyone's okay. It looks like it. Yeah. This is the table that they're giving me to set up on. Okay, something I just realized. I don't have the piece that connects my camera to my tripod, so I probably won't be able to record like I wanted to, which is unfortunate, especially considering the fact that I went all the way back to my house to get my camera. I actually have no idea where it is, and I don't think I've seen it in a long time, so it might be lost, actually. Or in my shed. Oh! Here it is! I found it in my trunk. It's an arts and gardens place. That thing hanging down. Like, what is that? And you're the artist? Yes, I am. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How long are you? Um, it was uh, for this last week. Uh, it was the 29th to, I think, Monday. Thank you. Um, I'm in a row. No, no. That, uh, no I didn't. Not a relative? No. <laughs> Yes, I am. figure out where to place them because this table is about to be like fully covered with like my stuff i like the placement of this one i like the placement of that one i have those stickers that i want to place too I think I settled on a table style. Got my prints, my stickers, my totes, my paintings, and the other prints here. So far, everyone's been like, so nice complimenting my work. It's really nice. People have mostly been liking Journey. Journey's the one, but it's nice to see which ones that people like the most. And it's been that one right there. So that was interesting. I didn't think that was gonna be the star of the show. Apparently it is.
So remember earlier when I was like, what kind of plant is that? That looks so cool. I figure out what kind of plant it is. It's literally a banana tree. Like that's the little purple thing I was talking about hanging out. And you see the bananas on there? Like literal bananas. I've never seen a banana tree till today. <laughs> that's Carissa, that's my sister. There have been people in and out and coming up to me, waves of people. There's only an hour left. She's fixing the papers. I thought they needed to be fixed. The papers with my face on it. Which is so nice, I appreciate that, thank you. She doesn't like being recorded. I'm taking a break. I've been standing by my art for like three hours and I haven't gone outside yet. Gardens are super nice in this like museum area. I think I showed you in the last video, but they're super nice, a little creepy for me because I'm like a super, super afraid of bugs and I feel like a spider is gonna fall on my head. <laughs> this is my cousin. Hi. Hello, I'm Kirsten's cousin. Outfit. Hi. This has been my art exhibit, my solo art, art exhibit. Yes, yeah, so this has been the art exhibit. It's actually been pretty cool. I think this might be the end of the video since I don't have to pack up today. It's just gonna be me going home and I'm for sure you don't wanna see that. So basically, this is all. That was it. Thanks for watching and hope to have you back watching the next video. And I'm done, I digress, goodbye. That felt like it ended super abruptly. I was like trying to edit that and I was just like, I don't know, something about that feels wrong. That was my first solo exhibit experience. Part one, two, and three. The other two parts are posted before this video and that's me setting up. I went through this in the beginning. You probably like, I don't care, but it was a really cool experience and I really enjoyed it. And I definitely recommend, highly recommend. And I hope to be like doing more of these because this was like, this really got me like fired up. Like this got me like, yeah, I need to really get into some more of these shows. It doesn't have to be solo, but just shows to like show my my art and to like just network with people because I actually liked it. It was really fun, not nerve-wracking at all. But yeah, thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. I love you subscribe to my channel if you like this video. That would mean a lot. But anyway, thanks. I'm done. Bye.